it's time for the percolator. Hey you guys, this is Janice Wilson-Hughes and I want to present to you the Percolator Mini Pops Arduino drum machine. So this is based on an original design called the O2 Mini Pops and it's actually an upgraded version of that called the Wii O3 by another developer who made some upgrades to it and then I've made some changes to that design. So I've added this OLED display here so you can tell what the heck you're doing. This thing has 16 different drum patterns on it which I've modified quite a bit from the original so that these are like 80s dance pop electro style drum beats and they're designed to sync up with this Skeeter sequence box that I've built here. So this pot controls what pattern's playing. This is your start button. These buttons here turn off and on specific drum sounds. The LEDs indicate your beat, the last beat of the sequence, and the first beat of the sequence. So we've got different sequences here. This one has a hi-hat on every beat. Same thing here, but hi-hat only on the and beats. We're going to have a turnaround here. Let's turn off this cowbell and that other sizzle noise. This one, it's got that pow, pow, pow. That is based on the chorus of Send Me an Angel. Then this beat is based off of I wear my sunglasses at night. This one's just got a pow pow turnaround. Let's see, turn that tom off. This is Obsession.
We've got little Paula Abdul straight up here. Stevie Nicks stand back. It's I Can't Wait by New Shoes. We've got a fast version of it and a slow version of it. This is your hard rock. This is your regular rock. Let's go back to the hard rock. We do have cowbell. In case you need more cowbell. We've got the reggae one here. As you can see just now with the screen flickering, you can get this set between two patterns and have them kind of mix, which is similar to the actual mini pops. So this is the new wave. We got a bunch more weird sounds going on here. And then we're going to have a dance, like a samba style here. Okay, so let's go back to one of our basic patterns. Take our little pops off. We can control the rate. Right now with this set, the rate knob turned all the way down. It's syncing to the beat from my Skeeter sequencer here, but this knob you can control the rate. And you can also use this to send a rate sequence out to another piece of equipment. My Skeeter can't take an input, so I'm using it as the master rate right now. This is going to control um, kind of the rate or the speed that the samples are played. It's it's funky, but it's kind of cool if you like glitchy stuff. So we can slow it down. Sometimes there's some weird artifacts that happen when it's slowed down. You can almost like bit crush with this. Bring it up really high. Try to get it back to our original here. You can hear a little artifact right there. Got to adjust it a little more. And I currently don't really have this set up, but I believe in the Wii 03 design, it's set up to output uh, or control the gate of the signal output, I think. So that's a basic overview of this guy. With the beats that I have this set up with, you could use this to do some kind of cool changes in the middle of a song. So let's say we just want a real basic beat here. We call this like a boots and pants because we got boots and pants and boots and pants, boots and pants. So then let's say you want to add a turnaround. So you're going along in your song. Shift it up here. Maybe we'll go with just a little turnaround here. And then bring it back down to your basic. So you can do some cool stuff like that. Of course, you can turn any of your sounds on and off. going to add different sounds in at different spots in the programming and you can set the OLED screen to say whatever you want. 
I have these patterns programmed in because it's the kind of stuff that I want to play and the names help me know what's going on and you know life is too short to be too serious so <laughs> that's why I got these goofy names on there but I'm sharing all of this code open source I've got github links in the video description I've tried to make a pretty decent uh, schematic to show you how to add in this OLED screen to the Wii 03 design, which that designer has very well specced out and you can check out his files. For builders who've already built a Mini Pops, this uses a second Arduino board to run the OLED. So you just need a common ground and you need to add another output off of your pattern pot to run to the second Arduino. I'm also running the LEDs off the second Arduino, but you can run them off of the single one as in the Wii 3 design if you want to. So I hope this helps you guys. Hope uh, you enjoyed this. Be creative, enjoy yourselves, wishing wellness and well-being to everyone out there. Sending out lots of love. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.